Bye. But you know, when I'm saying bye to y'all, I'm gonna say bye to y'all. Just keep on watching the video. I feel like there's nothing in my way. All this money on me, it feels amazing. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Kimmy Bella, back with another video. In today's video, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be doing a butterfly lock install featuring Toya Trust hair. I'm just gonna do a quick spin around for y'all so you can see how it's looking and if you guys want to see how i got this look make sure you keep on watching and if you really like me make sure you leave a like comment share and subscribe to your girl guys don't judge me because this is my first time doing this um illusional crochet and you know i barely can braid like i am trying but i am dying so don't judge me too harsh but while i take forever to part my big ass head i'm trying to get back on to my natural hair journey like how I was when I first big chopped because I big chopped about four years ago. That's crazy. It's been four years since I big chopped. But I big chopped four years ago and my hair grew so rapidly like during my first two years. But then it is really true what they say when the longer your hair gets, the more lazier you get. Like there's times where I'm, I really miss my short hair because it was so much more easier to manage and like Keeping up with the routine was way more easier. Like now my wash days take forever, so I don't do them as often and I don't usually go the extra miles I used to. So I'm trying to get back into that habit of going the extra mile for my hair. So it can grow to the length I want it to go. Like a dumbass, my hair right now is so like uneven. During like my third and fourth year, I was trying to cut my hair myself and I did it super uneven. So I actually want to get a good chop, not like a big chop, but like a little mini chop per se, just to get off all those ends and make it even. So I can really start back on my like hair journey. And I don't know, I wanna include you guys on it. Like y'all gonna start to see a little more of that on the channel, whatever the case may be. So yeah, that's, what, that's what all I wanted to tell you guys because I would sit here and explain to y'all what I'm doing but if I'm real honest with y'all, I didn't even know what I was doing. I'm really, I'm Miss Queen Triatin because I well do, don't know how to braid y'all. I really don't. Y'all gonna see more of that, but I really don't know how to braid. Like I cannot finesse a braid like how a black girl should finesse a braid. But that's okay, cause we're learning. It's a learning experience. And you just gonna learn from my little mistakes. That's it. <laughs> I just realized that I'm showing y'all like all my videos, but I'm not even including like how I went from black to blonde to red to back to blonde. So we're gonna also talk about that because I did go this nice kind of like fiery pinkish reddish during the summertime. And your girl was looking real bad. I was feeling real, real, real cute with this. Like I absolutely loved the color at the time. But honestly, the way I am, if I have a color for too long, I'm gonna get absolutely sick of it. And red is one of those colors where it's literally just a phase because it was always an extra step, especially when it's semi-permanent because then it washes out, so you have to keep reapplying it and then it stains everywhere. And honestly, I just got tired of it. Like I did a couple hairstyles with it. Like if you go check out my highlights on Instagram, whatever the case may be, of course. Check your girl out and come connect with me 24 seven, even when I am not posting on YouTube from day to day. And you won't be, felt like you left out. Cause you know, y'all my little tribe. We a little tribe over here. So you should definitely follow me on all aspects. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. This is my hair now and it's like blonde transitioned out state. And I have been kind of debating in my mind whether I want to go back to blonde or if I should just transition back to black. I'm thinking about just transitioning back to black. Maybe I'll put like a little semi-permanent or something. I don't know yet, I'm thinking about it. But maybe y'all should comment, let me know what y'all think I should do. Remember when I said that I did like three, felt like it was gonna look terrible and stop? Yeah, this is where that happened. So y'all gonna see me do like a little bit and then I'm just gonna pop up with basically it half done but that's okay sometimes we have to break down before we can come back it's okay
dance are nasty, but them nasty. Fix things, fix things. Looping. Well, all right then. Can you see me not cleanest? Close when me rocking at the fucking realest. Ching, ching, ching. In a deal with the best. Girl, one with his feet, see the can and real blessed. Can I blow a breeze for the head of the penis? Cool, let's breeze that me rocking a sleeveless. Hey, 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 hey. So this is the finishing look of the hair and I am absolutely in love with it. I'm not gonna lie, at first, I was a little scared and I was about to be like, all right, now I just gotta stop doing it because I thought it wasn't coming out right, but you know, honestly, you just gotta finish the hairstyle. Like, I literally installed like three and I was like, no, I had to stop, it's not gonna look right. And then look at me, it's looking real cute. So only thing I do want to say about this hair, the dreadlock is very much giving dreadlock. You know, some butterfly locks have like hollow insides. This is not it, this is a real, nice natural dread feeling which i absolutely love the only thing is when it comes to um dreads that are filled in i'm not sure if you can do box the box braid way method and just looping it through maybe you can but i'm not sure personally i wouldn't try to do that i did the illusional crochet method as you can see and it came out super cute and i feel like the color looks really really cute on me like this color is just but then again, like I feel like browns and blondes are really, they look good on my skin tone, but I just feel like specifically this color, it just really looks nice with me. And even the bottom, like, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes when I put it up and like, it'd be looking like this and the color is right here, I'd be like, oh, this is a cute color on you. Cause my hair is kind of like this color, so I feel it, I'm feeling it. <laughs> so make sure you guys leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe to your girl. And make sure you hit your notification button so you can be notified whenever I post and you can come chop it up with me, okay? And don't forget to follow my social media handles so we can interact with each other on a daily basis because sometimes I do post little posts see what you guys wanna see. So, that being said, I love you guys. Make sure you tune into the description box down below and tune into Toya Trust here because it's given 10 out of 10. Oh